Are you looking for a place where your team can easily store all of your most important information so that it's central, accessible, and easily findable? Notion is a powerful tool that allows you to build a knowledge base perfectly tailored to your team's needs, whether you're just a handful of people or a large-scale organization. Picture an online repository where everything is kept up to date, from mission, vision, and objectives, to company policies and guides to benefit enrollment. One place where every team member can quickly find the information they need without having to tap a colleague on the shoulder or spend time searching for answers. This is what we call a team wiki. And this video will show you how to make your own. We'll cover building a homepage for your team, creating dynamic links to other pages, and tips and tricks to keep your information engaging and up to date. This is what the final product could look like. You can actually find and use this template in the human resources section of our template picker. But I'll show you how to build it from scratch so you can customize it to fit your needs. Here's a default workspace with different kinds of pages in the sidebar. Let's start by creating a new page. Click on the plus sign next to Workspace and give your page a name. Great! My page now sits at the top of the sidebar. This is what we call a top level page. I can click on it directly in my sidebar and we can use it to store many sub pages. To add a page within your page, type the forward slash key, then page and press enter. A new page is created. You can give it a name and add an icon if you wish. Now let's go back to your team homepage and add another page and icon. This time, I'll steal a template from the template picker to get a head start. Here are more subpages you could potentially add to your page exactly the way I just showed you. Simply click on them to add content inside them, which you can structure any way you want. I'll go into more detail on this in a minute. You can also access these pages by clicking on the toggle next to your team homepage in your sidebar. Open a subpages toggle, and you'll find pages stored inside some of them too. You can nest pages inside pages inside pages infinitely. This means that there are no limits to how many layers of information your team wiki can contain, and everything has its place. A neat way to organize all your subpages in your team wiki is to create headers. Type the forward slash key, then heading, and select the size of the heading you want. In this case, we'll pick a medium-sized heading, also called an H2 heading. Press enter, and here you can give your first header a name. You can also use markdown shortcuts to add your preferred headings. In this case, type the number key twice, followed by the spacebar. Let's add two more headers, policies and resources. Let's place all three headers next to each other. To do this, Use the six dot icon to drag a header and drop it next to the first one. The blue lines are here to guide you. Repeat the same action for your last header and there you go. You just created three columns in your page. You can create as many as you want that way. Type the hyphen key three times to add a divider under each. The next step is to place your subpages under their corresponding columns. Select the ones you'd like to move, click on any six dot icon to drag them across the page and drop them where you want. You can also use the six dot icon to move subpages one by one across your page. All right, now you can see all your pages at once. Now, why not make your team homepage a little more personal? You could add your logo and a cover photo of your team. Go here to add an icon and click on the upload an image tab to add one from your computer or link to paste an image link. Click on Add a Cover, then Change Cover, and use one of these two tabs to add your team photo. Amazing! This is what your team's homepage could look like. Okay, now let's move on to the things you can do with these subpages. This page documents a vacation policy. All there is for now is text and headings, but there are so many other types of content you can add with Notion. For example, type forward slash, call out, and press enter to call attention to something important. You can also add a table of contents to allow your readers to directly jump to the section of the document that interests them. Just type forward slash TOC and press enter. This generates a list of automatic hyperlinks to headings on your page. If you're using other tools to store information, you can also add that content into your Notion page. Embed a Google map showing where nearby restaurants are 
a Figma file with your design systems or components, a Loom video that captures your sales demo, or content from over 500 other apps. You can even embed a Typeform survey to collect information on your team or give people an easy way to request time off. With embeds, all of your information across tools can live in one place. Head to the Pages 3 dot menu at the top right, and you'll find the Page Lock option, which prevents other people on your team from making accidental edits or shifting things around. Turn this toggle on to lock the page. Unlock your page at any point by toggling it off or simply clicking on the locked icon that appears at the top of the page. Another cool thing you can do is use mentions to indicate who last updated any page and the time they updated it. To do this, type the at symbol, followed by the name of the person who last updated the document. If this person is you, you can tag yourself. Then write last updated and hit the at symbol again to feature the time of the last update. You can even write words like today or yesterday, and they will turn into their corresponding date as time passes. This is a nice way to tell people directly who they can ask about the page if they have questions. To know exactly when a page was last updated and by who, you can click on the three dot menu at the top right and look at the very bottom. You'll see a timestamp for when the page was last edited and by who. Now the information on your page is structured and accurate. Finally, let's have a look at our sidebar. If you have a team plan, you'll see two sections, workspace and private. The former stores pages that are visible to the whole team, and the latter is for pages that are private to you. As your team grows and scales, so will your team wiki. Each team could even build and oversee its own wiki page and have it appear in the sidebar like this. Soon, you could have your entire organization documenting everything in the same place, transparent to everyone. With a powerful team wiki like this one, your team members will know exactly where to go for the information they need. And to speed up their search, they can always use Quick Find at the top left of the workspace. After watching this, I hope you feel like you can build your own team wiki from scratch. Now you should know how to create a homepage for your team, add all kinds of content to your sub pages, and keep everything updated and structured the way you like. Make even the most specific information about your team accessible to all in just a moment, whether you're a squad of five or an entire company of thousands.